Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurvedan Medicine Doctor and also Isha Hatha Yoga Teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about what to do if we don't feel hungry or if I have lost my appetite for some reason. So let's see what Ayurveda has to say about it. According to Ayurveda, the loss of appetite or if you lost your hunger, this is because of many reasons. But if the reason behind this is excess heat in the system or excess pitta dosha or elevation of pitta dosha, then there are many things or many small lifestyle changes that you can do to reduce the overflow of pitta dosha or to reduce the heat in the system. So let's understand what is this excess heat in the system and how to reduce it. So now the question comes how we will recognize that we our lack in hunger or loss of appetite is because of excess of pitta dosha according to Ayurveda. So you will observe certain kind of symptoms in this like you will see like your drip, lips are very very dry. You will have many uh, times this acidity issues. You will feel burning sensation under your feet or in the esophages. You know esophage is this food pipe or under your feet. Many times there are a lot of skin issues, a lot of boils, pimples and many times red rashes all over the body and or sometimes on face but you don't know why these rashes are happening. So these are the very common symptoms that we feel when we have excess of pitta dosha. So if we talk about lifestyle changes we need to remove from our diet those things which enhance our pitta. That includes your chili, if you are eating excess of chili flakes that enhance your pitta dosha. If you are using ginger, ginger is also hot in potency so it also enhances your pitta dosha. If you are using spices excess, these also enhance pitta dosha because spices are very good for digestion and for digestive fire. But if you have excess pitta dosha, you reduce the use of spices especially asphotida. In addition to that coffee, tea also you need to reduce and include fruits in your diet like in the morning uh, breakfast include fruits in your diet all the seasonal fruits you can take but those fruits which are very hot in potency like kiwi, kiwi is quite hot, pineapple it is, is quite hot so these kind of fruits if you are eating take them in less quantities. In addition to that if you are using some kind of curd which is very uh, sour in taste so these things also you should reduce it also elevate your pitta dosha. In addition to that if you are taking any kind of dry fruits then please don't take these dry fruits just like this you need to soak them overnight and then you should consume it if you want to reduce your pitta dosha. Many times we just would stop using, using excess of dry fruits and our pitta dosha come into balance. So or if we start using dry fruits by overnight soaking them then also your pitta dosha will come into balance. And if you uh, want to know what you can do with your mind to reduce the pitta dosha that is reduce the quantity of your anger and how you can do it by yoga and meditation. You know why we should eat according to our prakriti because it makes our life more happy. So what is the need of reducing this pitta dosha because when you reduce this pitta dosha naturally your uh, willingness to eat hunger it will naturally increase uh, if it is because of excess of pitta dosha because once pitta dosha gets subside naturally your hunger will come back and you start eating food and you will feel happy. So uh, if we eating according to our prakriti, according to our body type, it will, it makes our life very pleasant and happy. In addition to that, you know all the normal situations you need to avoid all the outside artificial sauces, uh, all kind of pizzas, burgers, these kind of things which include artificial ingredients. These kind of things you should stop for some time till your pitta dosha do not get into balance. So that is all about lacking in appetite if it is because of pitta dosha. I hope you will start doing these changes and your pitta dosha will come into balance and your hunger will come back. 
So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching me for the first time, there is a bell icon, there is a subscription button. Please click the bell icon, hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also, if you would like to support us, there is a join button near subscription button. You can click the join button and you can support us. Those of you who want Ayurveda consultations, please write to me on this given email ID and I will let you know how we can schedule it. If you have any questions, please write down those questions in the comment section and I will try to answer questions in the best possible way. So with this note, I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care. Bye.